You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a maker. This is the Jelly Belly Portable Ice Shaver, so I'm going to make some shaved ice. I have very cherry and watermelon Jelly Belly flavors. Now, the machine itself doesn't require batteries. You're turning a handle on the top. Uh, let me just flip it around here. As you can see, there's two different price stickers on it. We ended up finding it somewhere for $3.99, which is really good. And here's all the flavors they have. Let's read a little bit here. Let's see. No, can't read that. Can't read that. Let's read this. Portable ice shaver. It says, turn handle to shave ice. Ice molds double as serving cups. No mess, drip tray. All right, and that's what you saw on the bottom here. That's this tray here. And this is what you actually use for the ice molds. Now, let me show you that now because I had them in the freezer. And I made a few of them already. So here's a block that I made earlier. Now this one, you get two in here, so I have the other one here. It's been washed and it's ready, because that actually sits in the machine. And then the blocks sit in these little trays, and I just had filled them with water, and then got them out. I just kind of ran some water on the outside of this. So these are your serving cups, and also your ice molds. Now, they recommend letting the ice sit for a while, because you want to have it um, temper a little bit. That's how you use ice in these machines. If you take it right out of the freezer, it will not shave correctly. So when I come back, I'll have the ice tempered, and we're going to get started, and we're going to make ourselves a couple shaved ice. We're going to try the watermelon and the very cherry. All right, ice is uh, still tempering, so I figured this would be a good time to go over the machine and then the instructions. So let's just flip it open here. Here's how it comes apart, and I'll show you that. And then before using the first time, and I've washed it and done all that, helpful hints, okay? Frozen carbonated is easier to shave than regular frozen water. Do not use ice that has come directly out of the freezer. And then there's some tips if something's going on that doesn't appear right. How to use your ice shaver. Fill cups with water, juice, or flavored syrups and place in freezer. So you could put, uh, you could fill it with juice or anything you really want to freeze it. See, make extra ice blocks and store them in the freezer for future use. So you can keep making ice blocks. You could probably even take a soda and pour it in there and freeze it. Now this video is really just going to be about the Jelly Belly products at first, you know, and then when we re revisit it, we'll probably expand some things here. Put the lid with the crank handle on the machine, press down and twist the lid clockwise until tight, grasp the handle and turn clockwise to shave ice. You might want to hold on to the base. Ooh, I'll remember that. Okay. It says, scoop the shaved ice into a paper cone bowl or cup, then add your favorite Jelly Belly. Remember now, these are also the container, so I'm just going to use that and bring in a spoon. And then here's some other cool ideas. I wanted to show you in case you've got this machine without the instructions. Look at that. So soda, fruit juices, lemonade, and punch flavored drinks. You can make a rainbow slush, sorbets, ice cream snowballs, slushes, super snow cones. And uh, we'll probably do those at some point. There you go. Let's take it apart real quick. So really simple and easy to clean, but you just untwist that. There's an insert in here, and let me show you the blade. That is the blade, as you can see. I don't know if you can see water droplets in there. That's because I just washed it, and then here, this is what's actually compacting to the ice. So you have to be careful with this. See the little spikes? So when you're pushing this down, it's twisting, and this will go up, and as it's spinning on that blade, it's shaving the ice. So these are going to lock into the ice. It's very much like a professional ice shaver. And I speak from experience because I used to shave ice professionally. And I still have the machine, which is in a, another video. So I think we're going to be ready soon. Here's the ice now. It's, it's starting to temper. It's close. I want to see it a little bit more translucent before I start. So when I come back... We're going to make some shaved ice. All right, we are ready to go. As you can see, it's melted and ready and looks uh, just right for the ice shaver. So let's stick one of these underneath and let's get going here. We'll take that off. We'll stick one block inside. Ooh, we'll attempt to stick one block inside. 
Now it looks like I'm going to have to push this down. So this will take some effort, more than likely by an adult. We'll see how hard it is for me to do it. And then was a, was a small challenge there. And then let's just tilt this down. Now it says hold and turn. So I'll hold here. Hmm. Looks like we have some shaved ice, huh? Looks like once it got started, it's really good. Okay. So there's our first batch. What flavor do I want to put on it? I think I want to put the very cherry. So I'll just shake it up a little. And then I pre-took off the safety seals on the top. Now it's always good to chill your flavoring so that the ice doesn't melt away too fast. Let's see. That looks good. Let me give it a taste. That's good. Nice, strong, sweet flavor. Now it's not as shaved like I was thinking it would be. Let me try another one here. Got to move a little faster. Now that to me looks a little more shaved. Go a little bit more. Now it looks like I can get two. Here, let me show you from the top because I'm not putting any real pressure on the top. I'm just holding here and turning, and that's when it's, you hear that shaving sound. Ooh, it must have hit a spot there. Ooh, nice. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Let me uh, bring in my watermelon flavor. It's a very light green. I'll do half. Well, I'll do the whole thing watermelon. I'm going to clean up and do a few more. Oop, off to the side. Put a lot on there this time. This is more like the slushy that they were saying. So you could drink this with a straw. See, it's now melted down pretty good. Let's try it. Hmm. It's good. It has a nice light watermelon flavor. It's not this one's not as sweet as the very cherry. Look at them both. You almost just want to drink it right out of here. So I got two full cups. Let's take a look at the ice block and see what's left in there. There's just a little bit left. see if I can shave that down a little bit more into here. See if we can get a little bit more on that. Okay, so I think I've got all the way to the bottom now. Let's take a look inside and see the piece that's in there. There's, yep, so I don't think it'll go down anymore. There's a nice piece of ice. All right. So take a look. Let me mix this with a little cherry, huh? Cherry on top. Now we, uh, when I was doing this professionally, we would call this frog in a blender. Anytime you get the green and the red mixed together, we had names for all the different kinds of snow cones. There was a Smurf. Mmm, that's good. See the frog in a blender? Get it? All right, so let me uh, let me clean up, come back. I'm going to shave that second block. All right, so I've cleaned out my two little dishes. So what have we learned? Well, you can get two snow cones out of one of these ice blocks. Refrigerate your... There's a block I just put in there. 
mixes. This will take a little extra work here to get this right here, so definitely going to need a parent. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can get the whole process. So you can see it at the top and the bottom. Okay, so there's one. Nice cup of shaved ice. Let me show you next to the spoon. Easier to see. Okay, and you could just eat that if you don't want any flavoring on it. That's refreshing in itself. Here we go. Oh, do you want to see the whole thing? There you go. Okay, so there is cup two. So I would say that's pretty good. Let me do a, another uh, very cherry. Just so you can see it going on. It is fun to watch it and look at the pretty colors. And then I'll do a watermelon right next to it. And then I'll say, which one do you think you would want? Oh, and by the way, this video is not over. There's a bonus item here. So which would you like? The watermelon or the very cherry? Bonus item time. Let's, uh... Make some room here. I'm just going to go right into it. Well, I'll show it to you. We'll figure it out. And then we'll have to come back. Now, it looks like there's little rubber feet on the bottom of that. And it, look at this. These are Jelly Belly Flute Pops. And they use the flavoring from the shaver. So it looks like, well, we'll check it out. No mess, sip spouts, easy directions inside. Let's see. Oh, I need to cut that. Not the best tool. Okay, so they sit on the stand so you could freeze them. Look at that. Okay, let's see. Place Flute Pops mold into holder base. Fill the flute pop mold using your favorite juice, syrup, smoothie, or other liquid. Snap caps over tops of molds. Freeze. Remove individual flute pops from mold from holder base. Remove ice pops from mold. If necessary, dip into warm water to loosen. Flip in place narrow end of cap into mold for convenient holder. Let's check it out. Now, these need to be washed, so. I see. Look at that. So, this goes here. Like that. And then this must be the able to drink it out of that, right? So your popsicle will be up here, but you freeze them like this. Interesting. All right, let's read the directions because you can make them with this flavoring. It says, ice pops, dilute one part syrup and one part water. Pour into ice pop mold and freeze. All right, so what I need to do is get a measuring cup. We'll see how much liquid these hold, well let me wash them first, see how much liquid they hold, cut that in half and do half syrup and half water. Be right back. All right, everything is washed and there's still some water droplet, droplets on there. Let me just take these out and show you the base real quick. It says flute pops on there. And then these are shaped so they kind of lock in so you can put them in your freezer. So let's figure out the volume here. So I'm just gonna pour some water into the top. All right, and I have another measuring cup. So what we'll do is we'll pour that into this and then we'll know the total volume of this flute pop. I can't, uh, well, there it is. It's about just under a half of a cup. So here's the quarter, here's the third, here's the half mark. So it's right into this mark. What is that mark? Hmm. Let's just say it's three ounces. So we know we can do an ounce and a half of water and an ounce and a half of flavoring, and we should be spot on. So I need to get the water to here and then 
the flavoring up to there. So let me dump out some water. So we got to be under the two. A little bit more. All right, and then bring the flavoring up to the three on the ounces. Let's do cherry. And then we'll see how accurate that is. Just a little bit under because I'm sure the stem is going to make a difference. So let's put that one back on and see how close it is. That's good. Okay. Because when you push this in, it will move it up just a little. Okay, snapped on. Let's make another one in that flavor. So same thing. That will make two green. Now that's funny, I put the red and the green. Okay. And I'll put the green in the red. How's that? So I guess two, if you want to mix it, you can. But as you pour it, it's kind of doing that for you. Okay. All right. Now let me just uh, wipe this out here. I've got a handy rag nearby. Squeaky, squeaky. And then let's do it again for the watermelon. And then I'll have to freeze these and come back and show them to you. I'm not sure the lid is on this one all the way. There we go. Shake it up. Okay. That one didn't snap on like the other ones. And one more to go. Not said any liquid, so. Ooh. A little too much water. Wasn't paying attention. So if you want to make cola pops or juice pops, it said smoothie pops. Give it a shot. Now we might do that in a future video. See, I gotta do, you know, the recommended and try the actual Jelly Belly before I start experimenting. Ooh, look at that one, a little bit light. Let's give it a little more watermelon flavor. All right. All right, so it's time to freeze these. And when they're done, we'll check them out. Okay, I am back. Now, uh, I let them sit overnight. I didn't have to, but uh, that's just how it worked out. These two have been sitting out of the freezer for about 20 minutes. I'm trying to get them to, uh, you know, melt down just a little. Because I think I want to break one off and try to do it in the shaver itself. So these are the flute pops. Let's take a look now. Like I said, this one here and the red. Let's do the red first. These, as you can see, have melted slightly, and I'm hoping they just come right out. And look, they have, and they've melted quite a bit. So that is my flute pop for the first flavor. Let me put that in my dish over here, and then uh, let me reset up here, and I'm just going to break it off and see if we could shave that. All right, I think it was actually too soft. Take a look. It broke, so I'm not sure it's going to work. Let me try one of the ones that... Haven't, that hasn't sat out. Harder to get out now. Looks like it's gonna pull out. Now these have been out for about five minutes. Okay. So let me get my, let's see if I could just break it with my hand. I can. Just break it off in there. 
and see. I have no idea, but the only way to find out and learn is to try it. Okay. Well, that worked. Ooh, it made it actually as nice. And I would say closer to a shaved ice than the original blocks we did. Now remember, the original blocks we did with regular tap water, it said if you used a bubbly water, maybe like a club soda or something, would even work better. So I'm gonna have to try that on a future test. But the flavoring was really good and strong on the pops. Let's take out a green one. I'm happy with that. Now this is the one that sat out. So when I take this one out, I'm gonna have to refreeze that one. It sat out a little bit too long. Plus, where I make the video, it's really hot today. So let's just see if we can break this one here. If I my heat heat the heat of my hand will help get it out. Nice, look at that. And I noticed too, remember there's that little sip straw there. Look at that. It's actually quite soft and creamy. Mm, that's good. But let me show you now. Let's see if I could show you. Man, I'm making a mess. If this one, since this one's all melted, you see all the liquid now? When I pull this off, it's just going to pour everywhere. But now I can sip it right from here. Ah, wow. Look at this. I've made a mess at Lucky Penny Shop, and it's tasty. I gotta tell you, the flavors are really good. Overall, now, let's do a quick recap here. Let's stop looking at my, my mess, and look at this beautiful shaved ice here in Very Cherry. Overall, ah, it's not exactly like a professional shaved ice, of course, because the machine is totally different. The way the blade cuts is similar, but on a professional machine, it's a sharper blade, and you're just barely shaving the ice block. The flavors are really good. So I think the next time we try this machine, if it comes up in a revisit at a later date, I'm going to try the different waters and see how much that affects it. So there you go. That is the Jelly Belly Portable Ice Shaver. So you can just bring it anywhere, bring it outside, shave some ice. Pour on your favorite topping. I'd say overall, it worked pretty good. I would make sure too that you make a bunch of blocks. Remember, you get two for each block. So have a bunch of blocks on hand if you got a lot of kids and uh, go for it. And if you wanna see other makers, look in the description below for a playlist or as always, search our channel. Later, if you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.